I never believed in ghosts, or supernatural occurrences for that matter. I always considered myself a rational and level-headed individual. But that all changed when I stumbled upon a hidden room in my own house. It was an ordinary day, much like any other, when I decided to do some spring cleaning. Little did I know that the discovery awaiting me would shatter my beliefs and leave me with an everlasting sense of dread. My name is David, a thirty-year-old architect who had recently moved into an old Victorian house. The house had a certain charm to it a captivating allure that drew me in the moment I laid eyes on it. It had belonged to a wealthy family in the early 1900s, but had been abandoned for years before I purchased it. The realtor assured me that the house was in perfect condition, but little did I know the secrets it held within its walls. As I was organizing the attic, I noticed a small gap behind a stack of dusty boxes. Curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to investigate further. I moved the boxes aside and discovered a hidden door. It's old, weathered wood hinted at its age, and the lock seemed untouched for years. Without hesitation, I grabbed a crowbar and pried the door open, revealing a narrow staircase leading to a dimly lit room below. The air grew heavy as I descended, the creaking of each step echoing through the narrow passage. The musty smell of decay grew stronger with every inch I advanced, and a chill ran down my spine. Finally, I reached the bottom and found myself in a room frozen in time. Thick layers of dust covered every surface, obscuring the details of the furniture and casting eerie shadows in the dim light. It felt like stepping into a forgotten chamber, a place untouched by the passage of time. But it was the altar at the center of the room that drew my attention. A sinister aura emanated from it, causing a knot to form in the pit of my stomach. Strange symbols and charred remnants of candles adorned the altar, as if it had been used for some malevolent purpose. I could almost feel the weight of ancient rituals hanging in the air. An unsettling sensation washed over me, as if unseen eyes were watching my every move. The room seemed to pulsate with a malevolent energy, feeding off my fear and curiosity. I wanted to leave, to escape this ominous place, but something held me captive. It was as if an invisible force rooted me to the spot, preventing me from turning away. In the corner of the room, barely visible amidst the shadows, stood a desk covered in aged papers and crumbling books. My heart pounded in my chest as I approached it, unsure of what secrets it held. With trembling hands I began to sift through the contents, each page revealing a fragment of a dark and forbidden knowledge. The writings spoke of ancient occult practices and unspeakable rituals. They detailed the summoning of otherworldly entities and the sacrificial offerings made in the pursuit of power. I couldn't help but shudder as I read the accounts of the horrifying consequences that befell those who dared to dabble in these forbidden arts. Time seemed to slip away as I delved deeper into the disturbing texts, unable to tear my gaze away from their macabre contents. Unexplained phenomena that I had experienced in the house suddenly made sense, the flickering lights, the strange noises in the dead of night, and the unsettling feeling of being watched. It all seemed connected to the abhorrent secrets concealed within these walls. As I reached the end of the pile, my hands trembled in anticipation. I glanced around the room, my breath catching in my throat. It was time to leave this accursed place, to escape the clutches of the unknown. But just as I turned to make my exit, something caught my eye. Behind a sheet of plastic on the wall, barely visible through the layers of dust, was a picture. I approached it cautiously, feeling a mixture of trepidation and morbid curiosity. And there, staring back at me, frozen in time, was a photograph of myself. A cold chill ran down my spine, and a surge of terror overcame me. How could this be? The picture was old, its colors faded, but there was no denying it. I was looking at an image of myself. The room seemed to close in around me, the air growing dense with an oppressive presence. Panic took hold of my senses, urging me to flee. With a racing heart, I stumbled backward, my gaze still fixed on the haunting photograph. I could no longer deny the undeniable truth, the room, the altar, the writings. It was all connected to me, to my very existence. The house, once a sanctuary, had become a prison of fear and paranoia and I was at the heart of its malevolent grip. In a state of sheer terror, 
I rushed out of the hidden room, scrambling up the stairs, desperate to put as much distance as possible between myself and the horrors that lay within. The house seemed to echo with malicious laughter, the walls whispering secrets that I would never fully comprehend. Since that day, I have been plagued by nightmares, tormented by visions of the occult rituals that took place in that hidden room. The house, once a symbol of comfort and safety, has transformed into a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurks within. The lingering sense of dread and anticipation that grips me is a constant reminder of the secrets that can be unearthed and the terrifying consequences they may bring. So I warn you, dear reader, be cautious of the secrets your house may hold. For in the darkest corners, there are whispers of the past, waiting to be unraveled. And once they are, they may never release their grip on your soul, leaving you forever trapped in a chilling reality of your own making. <laughs>